In this video, I'm going to walk you through the lesson on loss of neutral to explain how the loss of the neutral can result in 240 volts across 120 volt circuits, which in turn could cause uh, fire, shock hazards, and so on. This is a concept that is actually very simple once you understand it, once you go through it once. Um, if you would picture outlets in a wall, these are loads, these are symbols for lamps. Imagine each of these being just a, say a t for now we'll say a table lamp plugged into an outlet. So you have the ungrounded or the hot side here, you have the ungrounded or hot side here, you have the grounded or as it's often called neutral in the middle. These are just our measurements. It's a standard split phase, single phase uh, service that you would have in a home. It's called a split phase because this is a single coil and it has a center tap. The actual transformer is 240 volts out, but by center tapping it, we're splitting this secondary into two separate 120 volt phases in effect. Now these terms that I'm using, I don't want to confuse you. We'll go into the definitions of the terms in other lessons and in other courses. But for now, you just need to understand that this is the typical household arrangement. Two sides, 120 volts each, and if you take the ungrounded from each of those, you have 240 volts. The center grounded conductor is often referred to as a neutral. It's only a true neutral on a 240 volt load, in which case it carries no current in a perfectly balanced system. However, in a 120 volt, if we just take the right side out of the picture for just a minute and look at one load on one side, we have 120 volts, the current flows through to the lamp, back and back through the neutral. That completes the circuit. Now, if we were to lose the neutral, what would happen? Well, here we've broken the neutral. Now, these are still tied together. This could be junction boxes in the wall in the attic. It could be out, or outlet boxes in the wall. It could be junction boxes in the attic, basement, crawl space, whatever. But now what we have is 240 volts. We have two lamps in series. Now, if these lamps were equal, it would be very much like a, a Christmas light arrangement where you have lamps in series. So only 120 volts is going to drop across each of those lamps. But what if you had a load on one side or the other was not a lamp that was equal to the other? Well, what's going to happen is, depending on which one has the higher resistance, more of the voltage will drop across one load than the other. Again, you don't need to worry about the reasons for that at this point. We'll go into that in future lessons where we go deeper into electricity. But for now, you just need to understand that you could have potentially 240 volts across one of these devices. So if you had a very low resistance load here, you could actually end up, if this were a lamp, you could end up with that lamp being very, very hot. Well, what if that lamp were something other than a lamp? What if it were a motor or a heating element or something like that? Then obviously you'd have a, a, a problem there. The neutral then maintains the circuit so that these remain 120 volts. Once we lose this, again, we now have 240 volts because our output of our transformer is really 240 volts, okay? And it's a single phase. 
it's alternating current so the current flows through the circuit this way and then it reverses and it goes through 60 complete cycles every second let's just revisit the first diagram for a second okay here again these are tied together this completes the circuit that's 120 volts through this circuit same on the other side as long as we maintain the integrity of the neutral or the grounded conductor the current has a path back both to its source which is going to be the path that it takes under normal circumstances and then it has a ground which is a safety device it's an alternate path for the current to complete a circuit so I hope this video makes this a little bit clearer if you have any questions save your questions for the online session and we'll try to uh, answer them there